What's up? Hi. Hey. What's up, Sam? Hey, I'm gonna hug you because I'm a hugger. Hey, Quain. I'm sorry I slept with your man. It's okay. It's okay. What is going on here? Oh, children. Children, I would love for you to meet your brother. Coming to you live from the News Munda, aka my home office, I'm your host KB, and this is Before You Stream. I'm here to help bring you up to speed on what happened in your favorite TV shows and movies so that you're totally prepped before any new seasons or sequels drop. I'll talk about the classic love triangles we know, the ones we ship, and the iconic OMG and WTF moments that we simply can't forget. In this brand new episode, we are traveling back in time to 1988 when the OG Coming to America was born. In preparation for the March 5th release of the highly anticipated sequel Coming to America, I'm giving you an unfiltered look into the original characters and the -the over-the-top escapades that paved the way for our long overdue trip back to the movie. You must heed my words before I'm gone, my son. Now, you will be king. But the throne must pass to a male heir. Hakim, it appears you have a son. He must be found. Prepare the royal chit. We are going back to America. Oh, hell no, your majesty. So, let's dive in. When we first meet Prince Akeem, he is an entitled African prince with the world at his fingertips. At the ripe old age of 21, Prince Akeem is already tired of his lavish life of being waited on hand and foot. He confides in his parents and best, well, only friend and trusted advisor, Simi, that he wants to focus his attention on finding a true love match. Prince Akeem wants more than an attractive arm piece. He wants a wife who is a partner, someone who is bold, independent, and loves him for him, not his outstanding amount of wealth, unlimited resources, or his shiny crown. His father, King Jaffe, would rather Akeem get to the business of producing male heirs. So Akeem dips as fast as he can, narrowly escaping the throes of an arranged marriage, and follows his heart to New York City. He lands in Queens, quite literally because that is where the airport is, but also because it is his destiny. Along their journey, Prince Akeem and Simi meet no shortage of memorable characters in New York, but none quite like the array of NYC women they encounter on their quest to find Akeem's new wife. And just when Akeem thought that being a prince was hard, he soon finds out that nothing is harder than finding true love in New York City. Uh, And I know this from personal experience. But Akeem ends up seeing Lisa, the hardworking and brilliant heir of McDowell's. If Akeem wants to win Lisa's heart, he has to convince her to break up with Jerry Curl Juice Slinging Daryl, AKA Mr. Soul Glow himself, and Akeem also has to prove that he knows the value of hard work and a dollar by, <gasps> you guessed it, taking on a job at McDowell's. Now we absolutely cannot confuse McDowell's with the uh, other golden arches that shall not be named. It's clear that Akeem will do anything to get with Lisa, so when Daryl presses too hard and takes things too far by trying to control Lisa's life and future, Akeem swoops in, deepens their friendship, and starts to subtly shoot his shot with Lisa. Against all NYC dating odds, Akeem finds true love. But not without complications, like when Lisa's daddy kicks egotistical Daryl to the curb in favor of its own greed and wealth. Or of course, when Lisa has to meet her new soon-to-be Zamundan in-laws and the dads go head to head, of course. But eventually, Akeem lives happily ever after with Lisa. So, what can we expect from coming to America? Well, for one thing, all of your faves are back, but will it still be jam-packed with all kinds of crazy antics? 
If the new class of Zamundan Royals have anything to say about it, you can bet. Let's take a look. I'm back. Hey! What are you doing back here? Mufasa! <laughs> say it again! Feel right in his back. I've just discovered that I may have a son here in this land. How much child support is she getting from? The king pays no child support. No child support for 30 years and you came back? You're a dummy! <laughs> Hello, I am Hakim Jaffer, King of Zamunda. You are the heir to the throne. Yeah, my son. He's supposed to be like the prince of Wakanda. Wakanda is a fictional place. Not to everybody. Zamunda is a very real nation. I don't need no handout. Wait a minute. Hey, I'm gonna pay. Okay, baby. <laughs> Presenting King Akeem's son from America. And my moms. And his moms. Children, this is your brother. Hey, Quang. I'm sorry I slept with your man. This happened before we even met. It's not like you're the first man I've ever been with. I haven't did, 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 what did you just say about the other man? Coming to America, now it's coming to me. I always thought that Mika was going to be queen. <laughs> A woman isn't allowed to rule Zamunda. It's the law. Did it ever occur to you that Mika wanted to be your heir? Would you dare banish me from my own bedroom? How are you doing? I came. I'm getting in from everywhere. I have upset my family. You must be strong. And General Izzy would love nothing more than to take over Zomunda. Raise it higher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a king, I'm a king. Put your hands together. What if like that? Say it again. Give me all your... It's a party over here. I must admit, your style is far into my kingdom, but it's impressive. That's right. Ooh. There you go. Let me hear you say, hey, ho. Hey, ho. No, no, no don't no, do no, that. No. That's his mother. Oh, don't you say to No, him. not to his mother. And there you have it. The full recap for the OG Coming to America, now streaming on Amazon Prime Video. What are your favorite moments from this comedy classic? Comment below. And don't forget to watch the highly anticipated Coming to America sequel, streaming March 5th, only on Prime Video. Women aren't funny. Your wife must have a sense of humor. She's seen you naked. Oh. Drop my cucumber. Do I call you or do I just commit a crime? Probably committing a crime would get me to you quicker. This is me at my most inviting. 